Uh, just excited to be back from the holidays. Um, it's always an interesting thing to see whether your team takes a deep breath and, and the holidays are good for them or whether they come back and look like they had five million pounds of turkey. And I would say that the pleasing thing about our team is they came back pretty focused and have had what I would consider good practices and their, their focus and their intent has been really good. So as we start Big 12 play, that's an exciting thing for our team, I think. Uh, but it's exciting for me as a coach to see that I think we've grown. Um, everybody's talked about the difficult schedule in the preseason, uh, in the pre-conference, and you don't really know whether that's been beneficial or not, other than we seem like we understand the importance of preparation and the importance of detail a little bit better than, than we would have maybe had we not played that schedule. Uh, in saying that, I think we're, we're opening up against a really tough Texas Tech team, uh, a totally different one than we've seen in the five years that I've been here. Uh, in particular, talent level is better. Um, their comfort, obviously, with their coach looks better. Just their ability to score the basketball is better. And it's concerning for me, uh, just from the standpoint of our breakdowns sometimes are defensively when we lose focus or we don't get back in transition or we don't know who our matchup is and things like that. And if you make those kind of mistakes against this team, you're going to pay for it. So a concerning thing for me, but all in all, I'm, I'm really happy to get started with Big 12 play. We're excited about it. How many days did they have off? They had, uh, let's see, we played on the 20th, so they had five, almost five days. That was good. I mean, you just never know whether they come back energized or not, and, and we did. Is there a different mentality at the start of the Big 12 play than all these other games? Now they count for more? Uh, I think there's an excitement. That's what I've seen in the players. They seem like they're excited to start. I think the older players understand that it's a grind and it's a one game at a time kind of deal. You don't ever look toward anything but just what is the next game. Um, but they do know that there's, it's an exciting time. Uh, you know, you get to play in great venues every single night that you go on the road. It's challenging. I think it's why they come to Texas is to play in this league. Um, and so they seem excited. They seem not apprehensive or not confident. They just seem very excited. You guys have won four in a row. Do you, do you think that this, that this group through, through playing the especially the younger players mm -hmm. through playing the really tough schedule early. Do you think that that's a product of them getting the message and understanding what, what a grind, you know, Big 12 play will be? And, you know, I think it's going to be helpful. I don't think that you can describe what the Big 12 play is like uh, just because I always say this, and I haven't said it to the players yet, but it's always kind of comical to me when we get halfway through it. And you know, you have, always have team meetings and all that, and you look at them and you go, okay, we're halfway through, and their eyes get big, and they're like, oh, my God, there's nine more of these. And it, it's, it's challenging, uh, and we, but we're all in it together. I mean, everybody has the same circumstances, so it's not like it's any worse for us than it is for our opponents, but it is a grind. And our team, the young players, it'll still be shocking to them, but hopefully our leadership has grown. I think that's when you ask the question of what did the non-conference schedule do for us, I think it forced leadership. I think it forced our older players to speak a little maybe quicker than they would have had we had cupcakes and roses in every game. I think that maybe they would have just gone, okay, you know, we'll see how this goes. But I think it forced them to step up a little bit. What about for you, Coach? I mean, I know I heard you on the radio when you were in Arkansas that morning. How did the break do for you? I mean, because it's got to be challenging to go through that tough schedule for mm -hmm. you to really keep them motivated knowing that the really rough stretch is ahead. Yeah. It's always good to take a breath. Uh, I used to be one of those coaches that never took one, and now I do understand that it's a good thing for you uh, every now and then to take a day or two off and be with your family and enjoy loved ones and just, you know, breathe for a second. And I did that for a couple of days, maybe one or two, and then you start watching film again. But it's um, – I feel like the players do. I mean, you, you play – you come here to play in the Big 12. You come here to be challenged, and so it's, it's exciting to prepare. It's challenging. Uh, I think we have the best coaches in the country in our league. And so every night it's just like who can find your weaknesses. And back to the challenging schedule, that was something I thought that was good for us from the get, was that we were, our weaknesses were challenged very quickly. 
So what did you learn about your team or, or where were you exposed early in the season that you've been working since then? Uh, we were exposed in a lot of areas, and we probably still will be just because we're counting on a lot of young players. So it'll still, there'll, there'll be times when we're still exposed. I'm not expecting a miracle to happen, but I do think that our defense was really exposed from the very first game. Stanford exposed us quickly. And day by day by day, we've gotten better. We're not exactly where we need to be and where we want to be, but I do think that we have improved dramatically since that game and we're more solid. Uh, our rebounding has gotten a little bit better. The one area that I don't think that we've still cleaned up enough and we better clean it up really quick is assist turnover ratio. I still think that's an area, and free throws. Those are two areas that, and I told them this yesterday, you can control those two things no matter what your schedule is. And we've got to shoot free throws better and handle the ball a little bit better. But again, we've been challenged and uh, we've seen some things that we've had to correct um, through film, through exposure in film, or just playing the schedule. But what I have learned about the team, to answer your first question, is that they're, they're resilient and they're not, I think they do have some pride in what they're doing and I don't expect them to not be competitive because I thought the Tennessee game was a real, it was kind of a, a moment for this team to go, okay, are we just gonna you know, wallow around in self-pity or are we gonna try to win a game? That, that is a game that's, that's competitive. And we lost a big lead and we hung on and won that game and I thought we kind of grew up a little bit in that one and we've been a little better since then. So how much of the schedule was about preparing the young players on the team for the Big 12 play, the non tough non-conference? Uh, some of it, for sure. I, I, you know, I've talked at length about the schedule um, and some of it was planned, some of it wasn't. Um, we were lucky enough to be one of those teams that ESPN wanted to showcase, and we're proud to have done that and proud to represent Texas uh, on the biggest stage, which was the Jimmy V Classic. That was a big stage. Uh, the big game against South Carolina was a challenge against that league, and uh, so those are games we would never turn down, but I don't know that I'd intended on throwing them to that big of a fire. But they survived it. We all did.